Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you on board a 2013 Leopard 48 boats uh, sailing between St. Lucia and Grenada in the Windward Islands. I'm going to put the full spec sheet in description in the description down below. Um, I was just on board the boat, took her out for a sail, hung out with the crew. I uh, did a pretty thorough inspection on the boat, and I was really, really impressed with the overall condition. I mean. I think in general the boats down in the Windward Islands get less use than the boats up in the larger bases like St. Martin and uh, Tortola. This boat was also out of the hurricane zone during Hurricane Irma and Maria so she suffered zero hurricane damage and um, yeah her local crew I think have done a really really good job. They've been on the boat for four years now and um, I mean it's their home and they've treated it like their home so anyways like I said the full spec sheet will be in the description down below if you have any questions on the boat please leave a comment down below shoot me an email and as always if you like what I have to say don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks and have a good day right here on the starboard sugar scoop through there we've got the first mechanical space this boat's equipped with Yanmar diesels do a quick pano of the cockpit so that's the that's actually the table cover underneath i pulled it off so you could see the table they always use it on the boat so that table's in light new condition all the uh, cockpit cushions were just recovered this off season they also replaced the dinghy this year we're going to make our way up the starboard weather deck so we've got the helm here we're uh, on autopilot that's why the wheel's moving it's not uh because there's a ghost on the boat or anything the enclosure's in really good condition. I don't think that's the original enclosure, at least it doesn't look like it to me. As well as that coverings on the helm seat are uh, also updated. So we've got a uh, Raymarine Tri-Data remote for the VHF, autopilot control, Raymarine chart plotter, and then the wind instrument. The uh, Yanmar throttles are on the outboard side. Engine controls below that, as well as light switches, fuel transfer pump, the outboard winch for the main halyards and electric winch, which on these catamarans, they're big sails. So that makes quite the difference there. And all the rope clutches run back to the helm for easy sail handling. Gonna make our way up to the foredeck. All the hatches are flush hatches on the Leopard 48, which is really nice. We've got two bow seats here on the foredeck. I'm gonna do a quick pano across so you guys can kind of get an idea of the space. And you'll notice that the roller furler is a pro furl unit. We've got two large lazarettes up forward here. On the port side, we've got the Northern Lights generator. On the starboard side, we've got two of the water tanks. Being a crude yacht version, this boat's actually equipped with an additional 100 gallons of water. We've also got the forward cockpit there, which uh, we'll take another look at when we cut into the salon. We're gonna make our way down the port weather deck, and once again, you'll see it's nice and wide, giving you good access to the foredeck. I love all the grab rails as you make your way aft on the weather deck, as well as these steps to give you easy access to the hard top. Over here, we've got the port mechanical space with a Yanmar diesel and an SD60 sail drive. We have a four tank dive rack. Pano of the cockpit here, there's a nice large table to port where you can easily sit eight people. We've got a cockpit refrigerator and then a nice L-shaped settee over on the starboard side. Let's go ahead and take a look on the interior of this 2013 Leopard 48. One nice wide threshold coming in. We uh, just got done with a beautiful morning sail. So I'll do a quick pano through the uh, salon here. Those cushions were just recovered and in great shape. So over forward starboard, we've got a, a nice U-shaped settee. That coffee table can be raised and used as a dining table and there is a larger table. Over on the starboard side, we've got the, some of the cold storage. So we've got a, a fridge and a freezer. Storage in there. I mean, there's just tons of storage on this boat. They're getting ready to go sailing for two weeks. Through here, we've got the electrical panel. So we've got the 12 volt on the starboard side, the uh, 110 volt on the inboard side, our air conditioning controls, and then the generator controls. So the generator on this boat is pretty low hours uh, compared to the boats you find up in Tortola. There's, they don't get chartered as heavily down here. And then above that, we've got the uh, Xantrax inverter controller. 
Over on the uh, port side aft, we've got a nice L-shaped galley with dual basin sink, four burner stove, uh, oven broiler, microwave. I mean, just plenty of plenty of storage on this boat. Port forward, we have a nav station with a Raymarine VHF control for your Sony stereo with, stereo with Bose speakers. And there's also space to add a chart plotter there if you'd like to. Forward of that, we've got the salon access to the Ford cockpit. I'm gonna do a quick pano through here. We're sailing back into St. George's Grenada and uh, just, yeah, a little overcast, but still a beautiful morning. We're gonna make our way down the port companionway and check out the port aft cabin first. So we've got the aft cabin here. Um, we are underway, so the motor's running. So I'll talk here for a moment, but it's a nice semi walk around island style berth. There's drawers down below, as well as a hanging locker on the inboard side and plenty of shelving up top. Through here, we've got one of the uh, four heads on the boat. So separate shower stall. And then behind the door is where the actual toilet is. The owner of the boat's had professional crew on board since day one. They live in that port forward cabin, so I'm gonna respect their privacy. We are gonna pop across the salon and I'm gonna show you the two starboard staterooms, which are identical to the port side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the customary quick pano through the salon. We're gonna go make our way down the starboard companionway. We're gonna start port forward. Nice wide uh, hallways or passageways, whatever you want to call them. A U-shape, I'm sorry, a semi walk around island berth. Plenty of storage in either the shelves or the book racks up top. We've got a nice hanging locker as well. Another one of the heads on board the boat. And then the uh, starboard aft stateroom which is also a mirror image of the port aft stateroom, really nicely laid out. And then through here, we've got the uh, port head, sorry, starboard aft head. I hope you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough of the 2013 Leopard 48 crewed yacht version located in the Windward Islands. I've got the full spec sheet in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. And if you have any questions on this catamaran or any other catamaran, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email. And as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.